bunch of bunk. Never forget he's a cabinet minister. He's in charge of the co-op, which is supposed to promote and develop business in the Maritimes. Has much happened in the Maritimes since Mr. Harper got the mandate? I don't think so. That said, I'm deaf against TPP for many reasons that probably people aren't aware of. But um, I mentioned a lady earlier, Brigitte John's daughter. She used to be a friend of mine, but a uh, sticker on a friend of mine's helmet was so important. Uh, never mind how pretty she is, somebody somewhere is tired of her crap. But anyway, she's a pirate party. We're all about the internet. And there's a huge thing on the internet opposing TPP because it's attacking the internet. That will be quite effective. Fifteen countries must ratify this deal. They're fighting about it in Japan. They're fighting about it in Chile. His government hasn't got the mandate. Mulcair says he'll chuck it out. Trudeau says he'll think about it. Don't panic. It's not a done deal. This four billion for dairy farmers, it's to pacify until the election. The dairy farmers have the most powerful lobby in Canada. Far enough. He's offering a billion dollars for the car parts guys. Why four billion for farmers? Now, in 2004, when I was debating him before he was a parliamentarian, a woman asked a question from the audience, and come to find out she was the president of the Liberal Party down in the Petticodiac area, the mayor's sister. And she asked a very important question along these lines then. And I thought that was an unusual question to come from Sussex. I'm aware of free trade deals. And I remember in 1970 eating at a friend of mine's table in Bermuda, and the butter came from New Zealand. I said, why are you getting your butter from New Zealand? When Canada's right there. <laughs> and he said, it's cheaper. And the country that's at the table that is encouraging TPP is New Zealand, and dairy is their business. If you think about the 3% that the Americans might come in, you should concern yourself more about New Zealand. That said, it's not a done deal. I suspect a country like Chile will stop it. All 15 countries have to ratify. It's not a done deal. It's just rhetoric before the election. It's something so he can get your votes in this town and same in Quebec. Quebec's all fired up. The dairy farmers are quite upset. Don't worry about it. Not a done deal. And I'll bet you dimes to dollars it ain't going through. <laughs>